So as many of you know, I have a 2012 FJ Cruiser and one of the first things that I was looking for when I bought this car were these cool looking aluminum climate control knobs. So just taking a look at the um, stock climate control knobs, you know, they're, they're just black plastic and I always thought that there was a lot of black plastic in the FJ. So one of my favorite mods, uh, you know, not technically a mod, but just kind of a uh, a change really was that I got these silver billet uh, shift knobs. I just think it looks pretty cool and it also breaks up the the sea of black plastic in the interior. In my video describing the shift knobs I was wondering if anybody had any connection to these silver aluminum climate control knobs. I thought it would go well with these shift knobs and also you know just improve the look of the FJ overall and I, I've been looking online for over three years, basically since I've owned the FJ. And the company that makes the climate control knobs that I'm looking for are called Drake Off-Road. And, you know, I put it out there on the FJ forums whether or not anybody had a connection or if anyone was willing to sell them to me. And people suggested uh, looking into AJT design. I've seen their stuff. Um, although, you know, a lot of people think they do great stuff. I, I personally am not a fan of the look of the molded plastic AJT design stuff. So um, what I really wanted was those silver um, climate control knobs. And so over the last couple of years, I've just sort of been perusing the internet and looking around um, Craigslist, eBay, Amazon, uh, like I said, the FJ forums, there was nothing, no leads or anything. And obviously since the FJ Cruiser was discontinued in 2014, I believe the product was discontinued. So. Um, they're kind of hard to find and just recently a couple days ago I just did another Google search and I found a set on eBay I jumped right on it it was a buy it now situation I believe I paid like 80 something dollars for it and here it is you guys so the package came in the mail today and this is it Uh, I think it's great that the this seller, you know, even though this is used, the seller still had the original packaging. And here it says Drake Off-Road, Toyota FJ Cruiser, climate control knobs, 07 to 09. My FJ is a 2012. I'm curious to see whether or not this will actually fit. Um, I don't believe there was a change to the climate control knobs between 07 and 14, the last model year in the U.S. So I have a feeling these will fit just fine. Um, taking a look at the back here, it's interesting to see that the uh, DOM date of manufacture is December 20th, 2013. So I don't really see why it wouldn't fit a 2013 to 14. But we're going to give it a go here and uh, we'll see how it goes. All right, so just based on my reading here, these climate control knobs come off very much like the oven knobs that you have on your stove. Um, you just pull them out. So I'm going to pull and there it goes. So from what I understand, there's like a little metal retainer clip in there. There it is right there. Make sure that's still intact. Well, let's see if the Drake one has these metal clips in there. And if not, then we're going to have to swap them out. But I'll leave this one up here for now. And I'll open up the packaging here. And I have to say that the, the feel of this is very, it's very, very durable. It's brushed aluminum. Uh, it feels very hefty. They're not light compared to, um, you know, the stock plastic here. So... Uh, overall build quality, this has a, a nice heft to it, so very, very good quality. And since it's brushed aluminum, I don't see very many scratches. I'm sure there are some since they're used, but these look to be in pretty good shape. So not sure if the previous owner maybe had these on their FJ and maybe sold it or whatever, but uh, I was super duper happy to find this online. Finally, after years of searching, uh, they, they, uh, they popped up and uh, like I said, I jumped right on it. So. Yeah, so it looks like these already have the metal uh, retainer clip inside. So I'm just going to leave it as is and 
going to go ahead and install these. So for the sake of alignment, keep everything at the 12 o'clock position here and make sure that this goes in and it slides right in. So looks like it is a perfect fit. And right away, I'm really happy with the way it looks already just because, uh, like I said, it's, it's a sea of black plastic in the FJ interior, as you guys know. Having this aluminum, this brushed aluminum look uh, kind of adds to uh, a different uh, aesthetic. So this one's coming off. Let's throw the next climate control knob in there. Just slides right in, making sure I get the uh, full rotation there. That looks good. And finally, the last one that comes right out. All three are out and here comes the final knob, 12 o'clock position. It, all right, that took a little bit of uh, effort, uh, but it's in there. Everything uh, clicks in place. Just want to give it another little push. All right, and that's it. So there's the look. I'm very happy with it. Uh, like I said, I'm super excited that I was able to find a set. Uh, here's a total look at my console here. I've got the silver uh, billet shift knobs here and the brushed aluminum climate control knobs. So uh, overall, I think it's a pretty cool look. Um, build quality is nice and sturdy, nice and strong. Um, all right, I'm going to go ahead and uh, park the car in the garage and uh, see if we can check out these illumination lights. All right, guys, so I'm parked in my garage. Uh, it's kind of dark in here, so I'm just going to go ahead and turn on the illumination switches. And there they are. Lighting up orange as expected. And I think that completes the look now. Um, since I have this silver bezel and a bunch of uh, this, uh, these other silver parts in the FJ, I think it's a great addition and uh, just overall a great look there. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. If you have a set of these knobs, uh, feel free to comment. And if you don't, um, good luck finding them because, uh, yeah, they're not easy to find. Um, but once again, you guys, thanks again for watching. And uh, I'll catch you on the next video.